all here back with more watch the mighty jojo's bizarre adventure this is episode 23 of stone ocean titled lock of the jail last we left off we had a very interesting confrontation um <laughs> well how do how do we begin to describe everything that this happened so uh by the way thanks to everyone in the comments who clarified things and uh made sure i focus on certain aspects and whatnot um this baby by the way the last episode he didn't eat the pre the, his uh his like i thought he he was storing dio's bone inside his hand but no it, it appears thanks to you guys that the baby actually was given a bone out of his own hand it doesn't matter because the baby like ate him or absorbed him i'm not really sure uh very strange and uh yeah i mean i i have no theories i just kind of wanted to dive on in and see what happens next um watching two episodes today so I'm just gonna watch them back to back and it'll be a good time uh link in the description if you want the patreon version hitting record on that now uh let us begin in three two one start make sure the subtitles are on now they are Well, this is some good art. Again, craziest hair ever. <laughs> he must be free of everything I'm not. <laughs> By the way, when I when I joked in the last episode that these two were lovers, you guys clarified that it's kind of ambiguous. They might be, um, but you guys did say that Dio is bi. So, those were the words that he was reciting as he approached the baby. Interior stand itself. Wow. Wow, so bizarre how this thing is made. <laughs> oh, it's like a sleeper agent. Like you got to say the words and it activates them. Is this going to like bring back Dio? Is that kind of what's going to happen? Is the baby going to grow up into a new Dio? Whoa. Whoa, look at him. The star on his neck. Holy shit. Yeah, what the heck? It's coming out the holes in his jacket. What the hell? Is he just going to leave now? The birth creature belongs to me. Whoa. Wow. So is he like part Dio now? Because last we saw, the baby ate him. And now he's kind of up and about and he's got the star. Did the baby like morph into him? Or like, I don't know. So many questions, but I'm sure I'm sure it'll get answered. I'm sh you guys do a good job of like, if I actually miss something, you would tell me. Just gotta let it play out sometimes. Dun, 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 dun. It's crazy that my biggest complaint about this whole part is the fact that there's only one intro. Moon ocean. Cause that was one of the little joys I had as, uh, on the other parts. Um, well, I guess part one and part two each had just had one, but they were shorter. So 
and part two has a bloody stream i fucking love that intro um so i was totally fine with seeing that for a while anyway but three four and five freaking uh part three what was it three intros part four had like (laughs) i don't know at least if you count variants like seven or something part six only had two i think unless you count variants it'd be like four but still that's the most we've gotten in this we're already like almost three-fourths the way done 23 lock of the jail Oh, slipping out of his little hidden library room. Pierced your own belly button? Uh. Oh, the disc repaired itself. There's no damage on it anymore. Unless it's just an error, but... She's such a badass, she killed everyone in the disciplinary wing. That's what I would think. Well, I mean, if he left if he left the island in the prison, it's time for her to get out too. Let's get our armies and let's get out of here. And weather report, of course. I love anime. (coughs) Hell yeah. She pierced it with a star. I just noticed that. Oh. Wow. I will say, if I had one complaint about this part, it's the lack of... We don't really have a lot of interaction with the Joe Bros. Like, we see them all a, little, a lot in different pairings. But not, like, all together. Which makes sense. They're in a prison, but... It's a very isolated experience in this part. <laughs> wow. She memorized it. You better find a way to help her. The hell is this? What the fuck? Just walking down the hallway with a stand? I thought Pale Snake was dead. Or maybe I'm thinking of someone else. 
This is a strange ass looking person in Stan though. The Stan's looking like Jinzo from uh, Yu Gi Oh! Mew Mew? J Jailhouse Rock? Oh, that, they didn't censor that one. I assume that's a band, Jailhouse Rock. That sounds familiar. This goes right for the, uh, oh, whoa. Okay. What the hell? She got like warped. Whoa. What the hell? Is she dreaming that? No, there's no way. Oh shit. Grab a pen. Okay. She happened to be sleeping on one, so there you go. Three new pieces of information. Three. Defeat the user. Oh, some sort of mind game like, whoa. She can only retain up to three pieces of information at once. Let's go see Emporia. That's three pieces of information. Don't know. That would be four pieces of information. Oh, whoa. So it's going to be like a reverse mystery. So we'll kind of like, we're seeing the after effects of what happened. Better tell her. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh. You're holding one. Oh, does that count as a piece of information you don't, that she can't retain? New can that does that mean you can discard one piece of information to get a new one or like she's gonna write down what she's already asked. Whoa, the doctor's note. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay. What? Two days? She's been there two days? Now she talks, finally. Mew Mew, the thing you keep reading. Mew Mew. Don't forget to wear your panties. Is she not wearing her panties? What? Okay.
She does a very strange, frizzy, straightish hair. Whoring around. Damn. There she is. Huh, just like that, we're just versing another a stand user. That's three pieces of information. You gotta get her, forget everything else. We're back to square one. Oh no. Oh no. Now she's fucking with her. And that's clever on her part, but like. What the hell is she wearing? It looks like like a shriveled up animal hide. Interesting. A stand that messes with people's memory. That's new. I don't think we've actually. We've had like dreamlike ones before and stuff, but not memory specifically. Unless you count, unless you count Pucci's, uh, the, like the discs, I guess that counts technically as memory, but. Oh, about Fufu. Yeah. Huh. Be nice to get Ermies back into play here. I feel like it's been a bit. I know, obviously, I took a, my break, but. Hmm. <laughs> So, is one of her pieces of information remembering that she needs to write things down? Because otherwise she's cheating. Technically. Did she already bring her lunch up here? <laughs> no, eating her lunch. Wow. Gotta say, this is a very trippy uh, stand encounter. It's a lot of it's on us to kind of keep in context what she remembers and doesn't remember. It is frustrating to see her continuously take one step forward, two steps back. But uh, I'm sure it'll lead to goodness. Oh no, not again. <laughs> hmm. I love how this lady, this girl, uh, what's her name? Izzy or... Uh, well, what the hell is her? Just she just she just said it when she woke up next to her. But anyway, I love how she's just sort of this background character as Jolene's just trying to remember everything. <laughs> it's actually really unique. This would be so frustrating to be in this situation. Like, hot damn. Oh! Wow. Is she doing this to override her memories and shit? She's going to forget about the freaking cockroach that just got rubbed in her shit, isn't she? And she start eating. Oh, no. Ah! God, that's disgusting. 
Uh... Wow, and rubbing off her writing. Sure, just let this girl keep rubbing you down. Wow. That's crazy. Wow. Very creative stand, I must say. I can't wait to see this bitch fall. Let me just say that. So she knows she's trapped. Again, it's very confusing that she remembers certain things, but also remembers she's in the trap and needs to write things down. Like, it's more than three, technically. Whoa. Oh. Can the stand remember things that she herself forgets? Huh. Ow. Oh shit, he has writing on him too. Oh shit, did he get affected too? Wow. Don't go toward it again, bro. Bro, don't. Please, God, he's going to get shocked again. Please don't. Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> well. Damn, is he just in a loop of getting shocked by this shit? Fuck. Very annoying stand. I would hate, hate, hate. Oh, he changed it. Okay. When did he touch the bars? What? What does her hair remind me of? It's like a Dragon Ball, like third Super Saiyan evolution or something. <laughs> I don't really know Dragon Ball that well, but I know, like, I think it's like Super Saiyan 3 or something. His hair gets super long. Like, really, really long. Kind of looks like that. To be continued. All right. Well, that'll do it for this episode. Um, I'm going to end it there because I'm going to watch the next one right now. Hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, it's been Mighty Gazelle. Hope you all have a mighty day. See you guys.